Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Today I have like a little mini Skims shapewear review as well as a dress that I got. That is the Diana dress. I'll link it below, but it's super popular right now because Carrie Bradshaw wore it for the reboot of Sex in the City in a light blue color. I got it in a, that white like sheer color and ev like I said, everything will be linked below. I got it half off from matchesfashion.com. I'm gonna try it on, tell you my thoughts. Under it, we'll be wearing the Skims Seamless Solution Wear Sculpting Mid Short Thigh in the color Umber. It is the extra extra small slash extra small. I'm wearing them right now. So I think that they're really flattering. Like they really do hold you in. And I was surprised that this size fit me, but it does. I mean, they're hard to get on, but once they're on, they're good, they're comfy. So yeah, so far so good on those. They feel like they're good quality, but now let's see how it looks under this dress. So to start us off, I have this packaging. So they had the option of an eco box or this luxury box is what they called it. Typically I would have gone with the eco box but since Christmas is in like two weeks I just wanted to go ahead and get this so I could use it for gifts to actually like wrap my gifts in. So I will be still putting this to good use. So when you open it up it's like a little magnetic closure and see it just says matches fashion. It comes with the little like receipt cards and stuff and then it says like who your order was carefully packed by on this little sheet and then you can open it up. I already undid the sticker to reveal the dress. The shipping was extremely quick. I think I got it in two days, but I did have to pay $15, I think, for like express shipping. They didn't give me another option. So I got this in the size extra small. It's the Norma Kamali Diana gown in the size extra small and it just shows white, but it is there is like a solid color white and this is like the sheer one. So here's what the tag looks like just for reference. There's a bodysuit that is like sewn into this. So here's what it looks like. I don't know why it looks like twisted here, but it's just part of the ruching, I guess. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. Okay, so I have it on and first impressions is that first it was hard to get on. You do have to step into it. And second of all, it is like very tight, but I think everything fits pretty well. So here's what the top looks like. I love this little ruching look and this is the bodysuit under it. And see how this material is just kind of like separate from the bodysuit. So what I will say is I don't think the skim shorts work under it like how I envisioned they would. First of all, I don't think shorts is the way to go under this. You either have to stick with the bodysuit or you need to get like one of those skirt slips because you can see like first of all where the shorts start and stop. <laughs> like it looks very silly. And second of all, you can see like your individual legs more like and it's like standing out in this other color of shorts it just looks wrong but i think if you had a nice seamless like same color as the bodysuit or close um skirt wrap i think that would look perfect or just stick with the ba the um, bodysuit so let me give you a better look like i said this part does not look good but i think it's super pretty i really love it here's the side view Okay, so I always also show you in my standing mirror that I have here just for like a different look, a different angle. Um, so this is what it looks like. Obviously I need heels. I don't quite know, probably nude heels. So here is a full look. But I think I will do that skirt wrap thing because I just don't like how sheer it is at the legs, which I knew that going into it. I figured I'd have to do something. There's my cat. Um, but yeah, so I just think that I will wear that. And once that is in place and I have like a skirt covering this part so it doesn't look so sheer and it just looks like a regular dress, that is when I think I will love this dress so much. So overall, I'm really happy. And I must say too, like it's really comfortable. When I walk and move, you have this ruffle going down this entire side, just cinching it in. And then this side does not have that. But now to just wrap up with some final thoughts. First, starting off with the skim shapewear. First, I'm so glad that I got the extra extra small slash extra small. I thought it was gonna be too small, but I was like, you know what? Shapewear in the past has been too big and just didn't do anything even when it was size small. So. I needed something that would actually work and I do feel like that was my correct size. It is extremely tight, but that's the point. And I feel like it really works. It is my favorite shapewear I have ever tried. I've never tried Spanx, so I can't compare it to that, but I am very impressed with it. And it was $32 or $36, one of the two. And to me, that is pretty affordable for the quality and how well they worked. I was really happy with that. It's very comparable price to a Spanx or just, I think like maiden form maybe. When I was looking, it was on the more affordable end for sure. And the quality is there. So I'm very happy with that. It worked. 
great quality. I will say the shade Umber specifically is too gray. Like it doesn't match my skin tone at all and probably no one's skin tone, right? Like it's gray. So it's not for sheer things, but if that doesn't matter, then I think the shade Umber is a really nice, neutral, cool toned shade that it would look flattering on pretty much anyone, as long as it's not sheer that you're wearing it under. So I was very happy with the Spanx. I could see a difference. No, it wasn't like body changing, but like what would be? Um, but yeah, I saw definite tummy and waist control as well as thigh shaping. The gusset is open is what they call it on the butt. So it doesn't, you know, bring in your butt, which is what I was looking for. Yeah, no complaints. I would, I would repurchase it. On to the Norma Diana dress. I, I mean, again, I have to say I loved it. I was very impressed. I wish it was slightly less sheer or just like had a skirt. Um, if you're looking for that vibe where it's just the bodysuit I mean it's a look like I could see why you would like that and want that it's not for me but I knew that going into buying the dress but I was like it's half off I'll find something that works with it and I'm just gonna buy one of those shapewear like skirt things and I think I'm gonna absolutely love it love it I feel like it was good quality it was flattering it was everything I wanted it to be honestly I'm gonna wear it on vacation maybe one day like my own rehearsal dinner if it's still in style in a couple years like yeah, I'm really impressed with both things. I would recommend both. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.